Satan. Go ahead. And out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophets. So this stuff is coming out their mouth too. They talking about the false prophets. What are they doing? Go ahead. For they are the spirits of devils. Mm -hmm. Working miracles. Which go forth unto the kings of the earth. And of the whole world. To gather them to the battle. Of that great day of God Almighty. See I told you they can work miracles. They working miracles. All day, if you so concerned, so fixated on the miracle and the sign, he will fool you ten times out of ten. Because he's going to fool a lot of them in the end. Let's continue. Let's go to Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. You got to dissect this word. Because you a service reader or a novice, I get you every time. Mm -hmm. I get tired of people saying, oh, I know, I know. What do you do? <laughs> do you do the word? I know you know. Mm -hmm. I'm still a good man, Jeff. That won't cut it in the kingdom, brother. True sure enough, you take your mom to the store every, every week. You buy food, you pay for bills. You do all this stuff for her because she handicapped, she needs you. That's good, bro. But that won't get you in the kingdom. That's right. It won't. That's good to the world, but that is not good to God. He looking at that weight. When a person is bench pressing or lifting weights, they don't pay no attention to a person who got 145 on the board doing like that. You put four or five on that thing with four or five plates on it, oh, they looking. He got some weight on that thing for my ones that know about lifting weights. For a person with that just pulling up that little lightweight, ain't nobody looking. When you got that four or five or that five or five on your chest, they looking. Same thing my God right here, he looking. He said, this man right here, got he commandments, he giving it to him. That weight. So, Oh, this man right here, he's just a likable person. He's popular. Oh, man, get up. Go on down there and talk to David, just like he did uh, Saul. Saul started messing up. He said, man, forget Saul. I don't reject him. King Saul, the first king of Israel. Go on down there and talk to David. He my, he my dude who I want. This is what he said right here about this good. Verse 16. Go ahead. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Good question. That's a good question. What good thing will I do? Once I have eternal life, let's see what it is. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thy, thou, but if thy will enter into life, keep the commandments. That's good. He said, and he said, What? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. That's how you define a good person. But when Jesus had the flesh on, he was battling left and right with it. Three times he told the Lord to take this away from him. He didn't even want to die. He was like, man, take this cup away from me. But he had to go through it. He had to. Because this flesh is, is hard. But go ahead. He said unto him, which? Jesus said, mm -hmm. thou shalt do no murder. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Sign for me. He summed it up in this two verse by keeping the commandment. Go ahead. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. Well, like I yet. See, the commandments alone will not get you in. It's levels to this. You can't have the commandments and without Jesus. You can't know the commandments and don't do them. You got to have Jesus, know the commandments, do them. That's how, that's the order. That's how you got to go. But listen, go ahead. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, Go and sell that thou hast, 
and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Oh, Jesus, hit him hard in him, boy. This is what happened when what he said. Go ahead. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. See, we saw, I can't get it. So, Lord, y'all ain't got no money. Y'all ain't got no money. Y'all right here walking around here looking for a place to say, I got great possession. I got a big house. I got cattle. I got all this stuff. But Jesus said, say, why well, would you have him follow me if he want to be perfect? If you read on down, it would just, he could have been one of the disciples, man. Mm -hmm. Sitting on the throne, judging. He had his... He had his lifestyle sought in the kingdom. He passed it away. Because mm -hmm. he wanted stuff. He wanted stuff. He didn't want to take this word and apply it. He mm -hmm. wanted that possession. Let's go to Matthew and finish that. Yes, sir. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. You want to obtain God's righteousness. You got to keep his law. And Jesus. And most of all, you have to perform it in your daily activities. It ain't just Bible study, you clock in, okay, we did what we had to do. Then we go home and then we do all this craziness. But then we go out in the world and don't make the right decision because we look to listen to our friends, how it feels. No, you make your decisions on what? This law. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. We're trying to get righteousness. Amen. Go ahead, bro. Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Make sure you take it to the son of God, boy. <laughs> Jesus said, I come not to destroy the law or the prophets. He said, I'm not come but to fulfill. They said, well, Jesus fulfilled everything. No, he didn't. He fulfilled his part, which is dying on the cross, which is elevating elevate our knowledge while he was on this earth with the disciples. That's what he fulfilled. Now there's some more parts got to be fulfilled. The earth is still going on. If that's the case, if Jesus fulfilled it, the kingdom should already be here. Go ahead, brother. Listen to what he said here. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Is heaven ever still like that? Yes. So all hasn't been fulfilled because it ain't passed. He's going to clean this whole earth up. He's going to destroy it all and make it clean when he set up his kingdom. But what they tell you? Oh, Jesus fulfilled that. Right we got to do that. Listen, listen, listen what else he said. Go ahead. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I got one quick note for you. Understand, lake of fire is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. So don't think because you ain't teaching like, okay, I just have a little status. <laughs> no. You're going to be able to see them folks in the lake of fire burning. In a thousand years, about beasts in the fall problem. They're going to make it there for Satan make it there. Every day for a thousand years, you're going to be able to see it. If you make it in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So don't think that this talking about, well, at least I just be one of these little, you know, heaven got to got me in the ghetto part of the kingdom. <laughs> now, the ghetto part of the kingdom is the lake that burns with fire. Don't understand this. It's a work, y'all. It's a work. That's why I tell y'all, y'all come into a situation where you're about to lose your life, ask for forgiveness of your sin. Get it right. Don't be worried about saving yourself. That might be your opportunity to get in the kingdom when you resurrect it up. You know the book if you sit before me. This is what he's talking about. This is righteousness right here. Keep the law. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. You feel the left? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Read 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we went back to the very first scripture, man. 
You got to exceed the righteousness. Righteousness is the law. The Pharisees were hypocrites. They didn't do it. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Don't be fooled by Satan like the Sunday church members. Because they're going to be begging and pleading God at the end. Talking about all the things, the good works they did. Let me in. God mm. said, man, get your get out of my face, man. I don't know you. Oh, I did all this stuff. Come on, God did all this stuff in there. Man, get your behind in the nigga fire. Get in there. I don't even want to hear your conversation. I'm going to let the book tell you. Go ahead, verse 21. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Go ahead. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The will, which is the law. You got to do it. Go ahead. Men will say to me in that day. What day is that? The last day. The last day. What do you mean going to say in this day? Go ahead. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Or we have we not preached in your name? Go ahead. And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. They try to beg and plead to God to get in the kingdom. Done many wonderful work. Works ain't gonna get it, y'all. Good works ain't gonna get it. This is what the Lord said. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get your behind that nigga fire. <laughs> I don't know you. Hmm. Who are you? You know, he don't know you if you're not keeping his law. He do not know you. You got to understand this. That's how we obtain righteousness, by knowledge and understanding. And very few are going to find it. Go ahead, brother. 24. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. See, he letting us know. If you do the law, just, not just hear it, do them, you wise. You got to one up, man. You got to one up on a person, one up in the kingdom if you following this. But well, very few going to find this, y'all. They're going to they gonna take it as a joke anyway. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. Go back up to verse 13. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Play with this stuff, like, oh, man, it didn't come out. Man, when that fire hit your behind, you're going to be trying to find somebody just like these church, just like these sons of church. I know these sons of church people. These are church people. They prophesying in their name. You know what I mean? We're casting out demons in their name. You don't cast out demons with, with Satan's name. How Satan cast out Satan? These church folk. More so, sons of church folk. Verse 13, go ahead. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. For wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. You got to be careful of large crowds. Large crowds will get you messed up every time. Because what we doing, very few people doing it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way mm -hmm. which leadeth unto life. And few there'll be that find it. If you're doing what we're doing, if you're keeping the holy days, do your own process of elimination. That's when they're going to keep Passover and all the holy days. At one X. That's when they're going to keep the Sabbath. At one X. Three strikes you out. That's what they eat for dinner later on the night of the morning. Oh, we eat some ribs. Three strikes you out. All this, you gone. This is what it is. But well, people say, oh, he ain't got to be that harsh. Man, when somebody take you to the lake of fire, I'm going to be harsh as I can with them. You trying to kill me, man, and my family. Got to stand up in this thing. It's real so forgiving. It's going to make everybody being good. Everybody being good. Everybody's not good. Go ahead, brother. 15. Beware of false prophets. Beware of who? False prophets. That's some son that goes. Go ahead. Which come to you in sheep clothing. Mm -hmm. But in but inwardly they are raving wolves. They come in with good clothes on. But inwardly, all they see is you as a price tag. You merchandise. Mm -hmm. Jane is my car note, Ed is my house note. 
uh, Courtney is my clothes bill, Eric is my food bill. That's all they see. Because you give so much money to the church. So much money to the church. They're going to make you happy now. I gave thousands of dollars to the church. Okay, I used to give almost about ten thousand dollars a year to the church because I believed in this and what they were telling me. I believe this lie, but God saw my heart. He said, "Man, this man, right here trying to find out." I'm glad I listened because I was still in the church with my brother. Now they still got it going. I'm the black sheep of the family. Ain't none of them doing what I'm doing. None of them. They having super Sunday tomorrow. Well, they have a big time. You get all the churches together, they have Super Sunday. And they feed them, they take care of them, they do them nice, good, good, good. I do them good for a whole day. And that's what people want. And I'm not trying to bait y'all in going by this word just for food and materialistic. You got to want this. You got to want it. So I hope everybody understands about the righteousness of God. We're going to end off that. Take these scriptures and go back and get familiar with them. Because we still learn. We still got a lot more to go. It's like college.